I wanted to talk about how that on the 5th of September, it's um, just after the new moon, creeping up to a, 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 the Mercury square to Uranus. There is a hefty, well, you know, Mars goes into Cancer. And that's not a very good place for Mars. It's looking like that Mars and or the Divine Masculine needs help. It's been appearing this way now. You know, it's not doing too well in Gemini conjunct the not doing too well in Jupiter and Gemini. Because Jupiter and, and Gemini causes like a little bit too much information like mentally coming in. And then you put Mars next to it, it becomes hyperactive. The only saving grace is the fact that it squares Saturn in Pisces. Saturn in Pisces there... Um, but mercilessly, um, Mars is moving forward, and it right before it goes into Cancer on the fifth here, on the fourth, it squares Neptune. How strange. It does a little bit of a swap of degrees here because Neptune actually hits 28 degrees. Right on the 5th, it goes from 29 to 28, and see, Mars goes from 28 to 29. Uh, you know, because Neptune is going back backwards, we have um, four planets here. Do you see the different color? Those are the planets. And the different colors there, um, the dark means that we're going backwards still. And there's a lot of clarity that a lot of people living, like I was trying to tell you in the last video with the cats, a lot of people, which is most people, living in the dark, in darkness, under a spell, in deception. One way or another, basically the bottom line is, is how the mind is trying to keep us all tidied up and then under its particular status quo. And um, the subject matter of feelings come up. Because, see, the mind doesn't have feeling. If it does, it produces the feeling of fear. Um, across the board, because um, the mind cannot have reality at all. It doesn't know the truth very well. It has to surrender, and that's generating a bunch of fear. You know, like, fear and mind are synonyms. If you really want to get, like, if you really wanted to um, bag on the mind or something, you know, like, to get it to calm down and, 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 and um, slowly come out of the dark, see the compounding fear, which is now, if you want to talk about feeling that the narcissist has, like most of the time, here's what they say is that, well, yeah, you, you get the feeling of, about them. You know, they're, they're kind of a, a tragic individual, right? They are, um, uh, you have to be careful of this, not to become somebody who's always um, complaining, right? And, and having said that, boy, are, are we not all um totally narcissists, right? Because we get on Facebook and that's where a lot of people go to complain, believe it or not. And it's really the right idea, but what? how do we um, algorithmically start to log in? Like, okay, what's the biggest complaint? Well, um, I'm sure there's a lot, you know, so, but there's an algorithm that, that can come up, we can categorize and generalize really, um, boy, um, and see the way that they try to hide things from us trying to break free from being, um, let's just just say, kept in disease. Um, now, fear, you can say it's a disease if, um, you know, if it's, if it's just kind of, that's the condition that is now it's identified with. Let's talk about that. Because that becomes the problem. Like, what's the problem with all this, Shana? Who cares? Well, identity. People start to take that on like crazy. They they forget about the mind, and 
that and, and that, that it's fear and everything, they forget that they're living fearfully, right? And then they just start dressing all of that up and saying, I've achieved what? You've achieved a hiding place kind of what kind of a thing. And the kids aren't fooled and, and neither see every one every other person is not really fooled, but let's get back to the main faction of people that are fools. Um, that are um, drinking the Kool-Aid and, and winking to each other and doing money. Really, money keeps them all sheltered up. Um, and and uh, if you step back, babes, and look at it with a big old microscope, like, what is what is money doing? It's time to reorientate ourselves. And I say we, we do it by way of a beautiful screening system called MS, SM, sorry, um, social media. So use it to, you know, how long is it going to take to, um, for the, the tally mark to come up like, okay, so there's a lot of so-called talk, but I can't imagine. See, you're getting, because there's two types here and it's not isolated to men and women. We're talking about non-human and human being. How about that movie? Well, it's the truth. And um, it's time to stop mixing it up because you see the non-human is the mind. I, I was trying to tell you that. How do you like my, my little thing? I cut my bangs a little bit too short here, and I just figure, well, it's kind of like I have my glasses up, but at least this holds the mess that I made back. I mean, never do that while something is squaring your Venus. Or no, it's opposed to my Venus, but then I have Saturn square. But anyway, getting back to um, intergalactically, looking down on the population, the situation. Um, how is it ever going to change? What lets us know? You see, nobody is organized as far as how that this here medium and all of the other stuff, even our food, right? If, if, if farming was ever to be something that protected us, they took it away from us and they, and they poisoned it and gave it back to us. Kind of a thing, you see. And that's what, and it's not just food here. We're not talking about you know, we need to get back to living in the dirt and, and and on the earth, you know, and people start envisioning the hardest times. It's like, no, I think it's better to expand. And did, did I try to tell us what the word earth really meant? Um, and of course, just ignore the word ear that's in there. See, the word ear is there for a reason, babes. Well, first of all, um, see how it says here, ear, here, hunts. But boom. Oh, gosh, she is. Yay! Oh! Oh, yay. Oh, sorry. But I didn't create it that way. That's just the way it is. But Venus. Venus. And see, Venus rules love. Love is the heart matters. Everybody knows that. Okay, so um, there's the word ear in there. There's many ways to hear things, okay? So there's many ways to hear things. Now, now, mainly what it is, is vibrational frequency, really. And um, yeah, so uh, resonation happens through um, a certain vibrational frequency. If we're talking about the heart, see, there's a reason why there's the word here in that puppy. It's like the main fucking thing. But what are we listening to? Truth, baby, truth. But did you know where is the truth, though? See, Everybody's like, well, uh, can somebody tell us? And it's like, no, it's here. There, right? If you have a T, north, south, east, west, it's a compass. I can guarantee you I will not have one of these on my grave. I, I would rather have like a moon or a sun there and say, this is where I, I traveled past with all this mess. And I went to a different place in the solar system because I know damn well that there are there's better um, living situations than this. But and so you just go to the place of your imagination. It's already there, really. I'm I'm just I don't know what I'm doing here. Anyway, I'm not lying about this. You know, I, you can't be somebody who says, "God, look at the shit that she's making up." Like you can't even tell me that this that this is not looking like a compass. If you look at at a compass, and put a circle around it, north, south, east, west, boom, and and then you say, "I'm here." You know, you've seen this before, right? And we're not going like this. Why? Because you're a narcissist? I'm trying to, to, to you know, you're doing selective hearting? No, it's not happening, babe. 
believe it or not, you can become as aware as the air. Air is a very, we can get going, I will do a whole hour show on the word air alone. Besides for the fact that the word, the, the symbol H is in, if you put the symbol H in front of it, might tell us what that is all about as far as um, that element. If it's like how, like what does it do? What does hydrogen do? Why is it, you know, it's not just a, a major flammable thing like highly volatile, but it is a main thing that is found um, all around the universe. Element number one, hydrogen, it's found in water. Isn't that weird? It's highly flammable. If somehow you separate the molecules out and you get the hydrogen and, you, and even the ox oxygen is highly flammable. The truth is, is that um, they make cars that run on hydrogen and oxygen or mainly oxygen or hydrogen water why what what is it that it may it, that um, about this place that it makes it safe um, as far as water um, here you know I think it's different than what we could ever imagine but anyway um thank you for going along this journey with me I am um, I'm keeping an eye on, you have to keep an eye on the way you feel through this time, through this passage, and you see um, the sift or the shift involves a split. See, some people, um, they are either human, human beings or they're heading towards the human, becoming human, like being converted. That's your religion here, by the way. You become converted, not into Christianity, into becoming a human being. Hans, it's like there's only so much time here, and then, but who do we go to? You know, Buddhism kind of um, points at it. They say you go to the practitioner. The practitioner is the Buddha. The Buddha, well, now, it, it's hard to tell who's who. Like, what is it? You know, but we look at statues. And I'm sorry, but a lot of them that I've seen, and um, I'm talking about the Buddha, you know, the one that sits plump and juicy there, um, uh, has a set of tits. A minute 12, let's move on. Um, that's what I've seen, you know, and it's like, I don't know, Buddha is, is you know, looking a little bit femme over there. And it could be exaggerated, it may be distorted. Um, after how long? I'm sure Christ Jesus is over there. And we're just looking at Christ. Uh, it, it is not a last name. You know, there isn't John Christ and Jesus Christ and Joseph Christ and Mary Christ. And it's just a family that we're talking about. No! Did, did we catch the what, what, what word is inside the word um, Christ? If, in case you got confused, I'm sure I wrote it down here. And if not, I can't write it down because why? No pins. I have ran out of pens. It's it's okay. It's not that I have anything to do with... I don't go through pens like used Kleenexes. What happens is um, I just started using them. They were here for many, 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 many years. And I just picked them up and started like, I'm, I'm going to really do this. To, otherwise, I would have finished this. You know that the word world is in the word... The word word is in the word world, and there's a reason, and, and I would love to um, brainstorm all, on all this. There's a reason why to, and it will um, unfold miraculously over the next, if not um, seven years for sure, but the next 20 years, completely different um, humanity. A different humanity based in, in the fact that, you know, there is humanity, babe. As long as there is humanity, then the non-humanity is in check all the time. And so I'm not going to end this video right now. I, I will be posting this video. Um, see, I was trying to talk about that when that Mars goes into the, 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 the ruling sign that, that is ruled by um, the moon. See, when Mars meets up with the moon, 
it, it, it's kind of like uh, malefic, malefic. And see, what the problem is with Mars and, and Cancer is that Mars is not sensitive enough to be handling the issues of what Cancer deals with, which it deals with our emotions, our feminine intuitive ability, like to be quiet and listen, and then our feelings, and then the mother. And see, it's just a, ugh. It, you know, people with Mars and Cancer, and I think we've talked about this before, but um, people with Mars and Cancer, um, it leans, because it's a hard place for Mars and Cancer. It's kind of like Mars conjunct Saturn, and somehow they have a white conjunct Saturn? Well, Mars conjunct Moon. I'm sorry. Mars conjunct Moon. Yeah. Um, so, um, so they have emotional bruising already. Something, it might be in their background that they couldn't control the male figures or something in the family. Because Cancer rules family. And then when the Mars is there, it's like, oh, there's a vigorous something of the family. It could be that... I mean, unfortunately, a lot does lean towards abuse and just harsh home life that is that way. That's Mars is kind of that way, rough and tumble, and then it goes through cancer. And, and so that's what's coming up. You know, if you kind of notice the shift, how the people will start getting like butt hurt really easy, you know, and or they're just sensitive or they're or they're or they're it reminds me of the kind of like the introvert that would go in like how much pain that they that particular positioning would um, embody that it would cause them to um, stuff emotions down and then physically um, you know they, they build insulation and that is called becoming fat or obese it's because they're not working things out see it's who's going to communicate all of those that stuff very complicating and, and we need to communicate um, with uh, talk about communication see that's before that's on the fifth here and then we have with Mercury going into um, Virgo, it's it's like, thank God, it's going to save us. I remember it was last year when, the last time Mars was in, was in Cancer, I think it was like square or something in the sky too. And it was like so terrible. But now we have both the Sun and Virgo, um, Mercury and Virgo, and we just had a Virgonian spell with Venus. And there's Jupiter under, under, the, under the rulership of Mercury. And so it's just, there's just a capability of, well, the Virgo has the capability of healing, big time. It's not just doing like um, and, um, the work that Cancer knows how to do, which is uh, to be highly intuitive and move with remedy that is very vibrational and like mystical. Um, Virgo catches it all and begins to do medicinal work and 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 knows that there is a like a process and, and like has logged it in along with Gemini too see that's what they kind of do is um, they take down information that way and accurately start to summon things like if you want to call it magic sure um, do that it's not hocus pocus anymore that's all I mean um, in between there you know with with cancer it can get pretty darn um, heavy duty because they are moon ruled and that's mother, the emotions, you know, and that gets not hocus pocus, but you see, I think I was trying to mention in this video, uh, the place where feelings come from. See, there's, there's people that are moving by the feeling of um, emotions that are generated by the fear of mind that, okay, so if you can imagine if the mind is trained with the system, the punishment reward system now, it's very important to know that there's two, right? There's one that's based in God, where God approves of you, and it's like a wink. And how does it happen? You're just flourishing with the sign is all around you, um, mainly, mainly going general, the feeling of peace. You can actually see your particular contagion which is not good for the narcissist. When they start to feel peace and um, now real inner tranquility, you, you notice it's it's weird. Um, they have to run from it it's uh, or, or try to jostle it to, to make it unstable so that they have a reason to be there, like to communicate or something. 
or or like it's a complete shutdown if you notice it's just they'll go to sleep i'm not kidding right um it's weird it's like well how, how can that person sleep with all these people in the room like that i don't know if you've noticed that but have you noticed it i've noticed it throughout my life it's like it's weird and, and so but um it's like well um yeah, yeah it's it's um you know that that sleep in the room like that it's like well dude could you can you have have you could you go and take a nap are you tired or something because uh yeah i don't know i think it's halfway that they pretend like that um they can't hear but they can hear or or, or, or and they kind of look like this like under you know have you comment section down below if you've ever noticed that throughout your life i do the sleep thing you know it's either um, oh, what, what get up what are we gonna do what are we gonna do it's not there's never a decompression thing right and, and that's fine i guess no it's not i don't like it see getting back to the practitioners and the people where do they live where do we live see i would i we live in sanctuary we live in in monastery you know and i hate to i don't see i'm not looking forward to i want to change the monastery look and you know, can we change just the earth to being plum village because what does plum village mean that plum village is a place that Thich Nhat Hanh, such a beautiful man, born on October 6th, by the way. Talk about peace. See, when we think of peace in the Zodiac, we think of Libra. Now, Libra is going to have their way. They're going to work their magic. If they survive this very last Pluto going into Capricorn at the beginning of the month here, it hits 29 and it stays till um, November 17th or something and it goes away. And it's the last time. See... I don't know if you've noticed, but it's it's boiling from the inside out. Like, have you noticed your um, control freak issues based in the triad um, consciousness over there? Really, just pro bad fucking programming that 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 does chug away at. I win, you lose. Are people really still playing that? Well, that's too bad because I, you know, the secret behind it. Really, if you you really want to know. Because after a while, they start giving their money away just to find the secret, which which is to feel good, to be healed by way of having found the truth, and gone to God. Same thing. See, I'm gonna about I'm about ready to I'm taking a have a, a breather right now. But there are some people that are at heist. They're at heist. You remember what at heist means, right? Here, at the very least I can find that. The at heist. Yes, they've been heisted. We've been heisted um, that somebody has taken their mind um, and uh, they they start to argue. They love to argue about what God is or anything like that. And it's like, well, or if God exists and it's like, well, a word exists. Yes. So do you know what you're arguing about what whether something exists or not? Because words are not ever going to be it. You have to be able to point at um, like disprove that God is there. And, and really, um, it's, it's a word that, uh, of course, we've come up with that somewhere along the line. They, they don't want you to know what it really is. So give everything a name. Spell dog backwards. Fuck it. It's kind of still happening where they are getting more and more. They're clamping down on just all kinds of words, right? They don't want you to know your vocabulary, even though the, what I'm saying is the English alphabet that has lower and upper case letters which you're free to capitalize anywhere, anytime. Um, that's an interfacing system sent from benevolent beings who live in outer space. And, and, and once you open up to all three spectrums and know how to learn it and know how to see it, what's already there, the math they've already set up, they're really trying. But it's been set down in all lowercase. I mean, I'm sure you've heard this. And, and uh, what I'm saying is very much the truth. Um, I only know like 0.02% of it. So that, so. Um, there's where some of my insecurity comes from, but no, all I have to do is meditate more and, and fall in, in meditation about it and think about it. I'm not convincing myself. Of, uh, the, um, what I mean is the third dimensional, um, thing is very important, um, coupled with the second dimension. See, the first dimension is where we're stuck. The lower base case, flat line, fucking gibberish too it's gibberish out the gate and and that's the world we live in out there full of spam all up. and it's actually it's actually going nowhere 
um, it's actually going like it's ditch digging. We call it the ditch, ditch digging society because look at it. You need um, a, a, a ditch to throw all the trash that of, of the very temporary way that we are functioning to get what fulfillment, which is not any kind of fulfillment at all. If anybody notices, you know what I mean? It's like they're all smoking crack when it comes to their lifestyle. Uh, what I mean is they're, they're doing something that it has transferred an addiction into a problem which says um, you don't even know why you get up in the morning or, 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 or anything, right? And, and, and it's like, can it get any worse? Yeah, unfortunately kids, it can. And, and, and we hope so. Because if they fucking keep it hanging, that when by the time you get, see my generation is, is 50 years old, we're kind of in crisis and we wanna be ourselves. And now what happens? They have trained, um, first of all, the system is designed to, um, right? It makes you think of a cer certain, cer certain thing is happening when you see cer certain thing or, or somebody is struggling a certain way or whatever, it makes you go, or it makes you, and and see, now, we always know, I mean, look at how that they um, have in office, and the United States has kind of changed, hasn't it? And who do you think is going to make the stupid fucking presidency? By the way, it's not a man or woman that you see up there, if that's what you think. It's not going to be a, a woman for the first time. No, we don't even see human beings there, okay? How about, can we get a human being there? I have lost, I don't care about these people around here that, that claim to be, whatever they are to each other. This place is a, a hive. I live right in the middle of it. Anybody who waves flags and says, I'm an American, it's like, uh-oh. Not safe for the kids. I hope you didn't have any because you should say, I am a human being. Have you had anything to eat today yet? Better than saying, hi, how are you? Get fucking real, you goddamn people.